What you're about to hear is an excerpt from our weekly podcast which goes live to everybody every single Wednesday. Or well, you can access it right now just by supporting our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash prettygoodgaming. Thanks. For our next topic, I, I want to talk a little bit about uh, an interesting read we just had regarding indie developers and AAA. At DevCom, which is like a little side thing to Gamescom where the developers talk developer talk, they were talking about the exploration into the AAA market and possibilities for developers of all shapes and sizes to get involved. Daniel Vavra, I think that's how you pronounce his name, who's mm-hmm. a co-founder of Warhorse Studios, um, who are making Kingdom Come Deliverance at the moment, was there. He was one of the, the many panelists. However, he had quite a lot to say. He, he reckons for five or six million dollars and marketing money, he could make a shooter that could compete with Call of Duty, right? He reckons that you can do AAA games for not these quarter of a billion dollar budgets that you see, but actually for quite a lot less. And then he, he was saying that he was a bit confused because developers of some successful indie games on Steam like Ark and stuff, they've made tens of millions of dollars. Some of them have made hundreds of millions of yeah, dollars. Yeah. And he's thinking that these are going to be the, the guys that are going to be their own publishers. They're going to expand and he's expecting people to be making Skyrims and Assassin's Creed yeah. blockbusters, but they don't. And he doesn't really understand why they don't. It, obviously, the world's not as simple as this, is it, guys? No, it gives a lot. It gives a lot of reasons as to why people should be stepping up and taking this risk. Because he says that there are only a limited amount of AAA blockbuster games every year. He says in the region of about twenty. So your risk, if you're making a AAA game, of failure is between one out of five and 10 out of five in that ballpark yeah. that's your risk of failure if you're making a triple game yeah. so so it's a risk worth taking he says well yeah if you get one triple game a month that's 12 a year isn't it right yeah. so he's saying if you make say 100 million off a game and you just put a mere 20 million into your game and then keep the 80 million yourself you could essentially become your own publisher now let's just think about publishers for a minute like warner bros and ea and all that they're the ones that are the the guy's saying, yeah, nice game, but have you tried microtransactions? And he's saying, well, you could become your own publisher. You could do all this and with people, a couple of million. More people should be doing it, he says. Yeah. A, 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 you think of the likes of CD Projekt and CD Projekt Red, like kind of what they did. They're riding on their popularity of the Witcher series. They have bought this production company, right? So they could produce their own games now. They're not beholden to these yeah. big companies who put microtransactions in their games. So therefore, mm. they can keep a fair outlook on the way that they publish games they don't need all the, the shitty practices like uh, microtransactions and that and so you know you can do it yourself he's saying and and more of these independent developers who are making huge success out of yeah. games like player and those battlegrounds Battle millions and, and millions. An arc like, yeah. like you said that they should be taking that risk as well yeah uh, because it doesn't cost as much as you think it costs that's what he says exactly and I feel like he almost is talking like he feels they've got a responsibility to do yeah. it like this could be like the resist- it's, kind of, it's kind of like what he's doing though isn't it is it kind of justifying well, his own? Yeah, so so let's talk about that a little bit then. So Kingdom Come Deliverance is the game that he's working on, and he has actually cited The Witcher 3. So you just mentioned CD Projekt Red there. They made The Witcher 3 for $81 and that includes the marketing, okay? Mm. Because marketing for AAA games, by the way, is shitloads. People spend hundreds of millions on the marketing just for the ads. But The Witcher 3, $81 right? He's aiming to do a medieval AAA indie game. Non-fantasy. Non-fantasy, and uh, that's uh, interesting, right? for about 10 million so not only is he just speaking about it he's practicing what he's preaching and he's doing it half of what he's saying is definitely for me could be interpreted as him just validating the whole cause you know for his for his own staff and for his you know anyone who'd be interested in the game just like just saying look what we're doing more people should be doing this he's not only saying we're doing something cool he's saying more people should be doing what we're doing we're like leading by example in in some sense I think he's right in, in a lot of ways about you know people making money and then not Maybe they just don't know what to do with it. Maybe they don't... It doesn't even cross their minds to go, you know what, let's make Assassin's Creed. Why, why would Ark, the people who made Ark Survival Evolved, do that? Because why would they think that? They're too busy uh, selling Making DLC money. for games, yeah. aren't they? It might be right. It might only take $6 million to make a Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, you'd need millions and millions. I mean, he, he had a, a quip <laughs> at the end saying, oh, yeah, plus 50 million marketing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, plus you know, 50 million. You know, like he was nothing. kind of joking, but it, yeah. it's not a joke, really. No. Because if to be competing with those AAA games, like yeah. he says, you can easily do for $6 million, it's not that easy. And that's mm. where the risk comes in. And that's yeah. where pe- what's pe- putting people off. You need loads of money mar- to market your game. 
game yeah. to, to be able to compete. With CD Projekt, they built it up themselves, so they built the whole, th- what they are, out of a desire to basically make The Witcher, and then they yeah. they made they made The Witcher, then they made The Witcher 2, and then The Witcher 3, and there's such a, a neat graph of, you know, success, popularity, and quality of the games <laughs> in those three games, in those three titles. They benefited from the fact that they are in Poland, and the Polish government is cool with games, and they're proud of the, yeah. the company, and they want to support them, so they got support from the government, which not a lot of, you know, the, the British government, for example, might yeah. support the industry, but for a specific company to benefit yeah, in a way It's quite a particular case, isn't it, with CD yeah. Projekt? The Witcher 3 is the poster boy for everything yeah. in the industry, like, done right, and they did this by being their own publisher, really, I reckon. I'm being cool. Well, exactly, but how... Ha- fair to the consumer. Yeah, how, that's online. Right. But how many I mean. of these developers are cool? <laughs> how many of these developers are cool, though? How many of these developers have... They want to be good to their consumers, and and like I'm saying, yeah. they, and then the publishers come they in, sell their Warner soul. Brothers. They sell yeah. their soul exactly, and this is this is what I mean. So he's trying to just encourage people. Hey, just do it yourself. You have, Take this you have the power. Yeah. And I know we're talking about millions, like it's nothing. Like just just five million, just six million. Imagine yeah. if this guy had 185 million. What Kingdom Come Deliverance would be? I was saying this in the office to you guys. You know, I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, naive about this whole thing. I don't have billions and millions, but. He seems like he's come from the right place. This could be the lead of a resistance of of, uh, of indie games. What he's suggesting is that these independent studios who've seen a lot of success take the step up into AAA size yeah. studios and compete with other AAA games. That's what he's saying. Yeah, the next and game. I take that yeah. risk. There's a lot of risk involved, and people don't want to put their money on the line. It's just a natural thing, I guess. But there is another solution. Okay, they can do what Ninja Theory did as an aim for a triple A size game in scope and appearance and by oh, by all like appearances this is a triple A game but still maintain that small yeah. independent size team with, yeah. where, you, where your costs are low. You get the triple A and you just cut the quantity of it and that's what makes it a double A right because it's a double A game but everything about it is triple A quality. Mm. It's a blockbuster it's just a shorter one. See if they had the budget I'm sure they could ad- advance on that. Ninja Theory is a good example. If I'm going to put my you know, hedge my bets on one company doing what this guy's saying, where they've had this successful game, like in the US and the EU right now, as I'm recording this with you guys, uh, it's the number one selling game digitally. It's digital only, and it's the number one selling game digitally. It's doing really good, and it's making Hellblade, a lot of money. Right, yeah. Hellblade, it's a new sacrifice, of course, yeah. So, what are they going to do next? I can imagine that these are the type of guys that would go, right, well, our vision for the next game is going to be grander because we've got these millions in the mm-hmm. bank. Do we need more stuff like that in the industry? Definitely. Or- I mean, there's so much to not like about gaming because of the publishers, because of Warner Brothers and, and EA and everyone, Activision. They all do the shitty things now. Yeah. They just do it to different degrees, right? Whereas someone like CD Projekt does not, and that's why they get. That's why people like. That's why people like him. Exactly what this guy's saying is, it wouldn't even have to be like a resistance. It wouldn't have to be like, let's take this down. It'd just be like, okay, so those publishers are being wankers. How about we make games and not be wankers? See what happens. But you know, they they will make money. They will be they will be successful. They will, and we will get more good games. Why would you not want someone who's made two hundred million dollars on one indie explosion like Battlegrounds or whatever, which has definitely made more than two hundred million dollars by the way? Mm-hmm. Why would you not want them to then make another game that's even more ambitious and then and bigger and better, rather than just build on the fucking <coughs> microtransaction model? The world does need a little bit more of that. So do do you think that? we will see more of this or do you think that this is kind of just him shouting into a, a, a no. tunnel full of microtransactions he's no, like guys shifts isn't it it's slow shifts yeah. over time and it's already started like Hellblade as you've already covered he's doing it he's trying to you know if, if Kingdom Come Deliverance is a success then it's just success breeds success isn't it if one game does it well uh, they will become more successful and not only that then other people will say hey look what they did let's do that yeah. but, you know more people will, will jump on the wagon and, and AAA will keep doing what AAA does and pumping their big titles, their big annual yeah. releases with microtransactions and I think the, the, the industry itself is set up for a kind of revolution now where independent developers yeah. can publish their own games because you've got Steam, you've got di- these digital marketplaces mm-hmm. where you don't need huge market and publishing yeah. and um, publishers, essentially. So it's set up ideally. All you need mm-hmm. is people with enough vision um, to produce these AAA 
independently made AAA games, yeah. um, but but on a on a shoestring budget because it can be done. Ninja Theory have done something special because they've proved that it can be done. And like Mike said, this is paving the way for for the future. Yeah. And this is how people should look at it. Take them as an example. Yeah. This is what they should be doing and destroying that model where publishers, greedy publishers, yeah. get involved and the microtransactions become yeah. a thing yeah. and all that exactly. DLC. And There's a real divide now, isn't there? Where the, that top tier of of games made and published by you know Warner Brothers and that they, they are just on a different kind of level of, of behaviour and what they are trying to do to the games and industry. they all they all Everyone see what each other's doing and they'll yeah. they'll never try to undercut each other they'll all yeah. be like you'll charge a tenner I'll charge a tenner for this DLC rather than being like you'll charge a tenner I'll give it away for free I'd like to see innovation return to AAA AAA normally is not innovative at all it's a business model it's now. a business model and yeah how good would it be to see games rise to the top like that AAA games again which which is why the conversation we had about We Happy Few um, the other day was was so interesting to me because they just went from being in that in that bottom ocean of, of just game studios making a game and then they just joined AAA in like the worst possible way by doubling the price tacking on season pass and giving us a $150 collector edition without a copy of the game that's everything wrong with, with AAA to me and they yeah. just jumped into that category yeah. with both feet instead of trying to topple that structure that model instead of trying to do what Ninja Theory did and, and, and yeah, just break exactly. that yeah. they've just embraced it and become yeah. a part yeah. of the yeah. problem yeah. be like Daenerys and yeah. break that, the wheel like exactly the end, like the end of and Inside that's what, and that's what we call for on this channel and, that, and I think yeah. Ninja Theory providing that roadmap as to how to yeah. do that now they, yeah. they've Example. done that and yeah. Yeah. All we need to do is shout loud enough so that people c can see that you don't have to do what we happy if you did and, yeah. and just become part of the problem. You can break the wheel. The video you just heard was an extract from our weekly podcast. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Check out plenty more of our content, which is on screen right now. Be sure to check out the link to our Patreon just above. Thanks very much. Bye.